Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of my videos and in today's video I'm going to show you another extremely difficult mate in two problem. Uh, this particular one came from the West Sussex uh, Times I believe back in 1902. Uh, an extremely difficult one, this one in fact actually won the second place prize uh, for um, for a puzzle competition set around this time. Uh, interestingly enough the the puzzle that came number one was actually a self-mate puzzle. So in some ways, I consider this to be the uh, the best checkmate in two puzzle uh, out in, in this particular category. Um, so as I say, extremely difficult. See if you can try and solve it. Uh, so just to remind you, it's white to move and to checkmate in two. And also the pawns are going up the board as well in this particular one. Okay, so as I say, a very difficult one. Well done if you did manage to solve it. Um, so before I give you the solution, I'll have a look at some failed um, solutions first, but some of the, also the things that I noticed when I was trying to solve this. The first thing I noticed is obviously this king has no legal squares that it can possibly go to in this particular one. Uh, also, this queen is pinned by this bishop. I think that's also worth noting. And um, it's quite difficult to uh, try and find a quiet move here, as quite simply, there's this check from this knight. Also, this particular queen could also give a check as well. Um, but there's one quiet solution that does work in this particular variation. So um, the only move that works is queen to g4. You might be thinking to yourself, how the heck is this uh, going to lead to checkmate into? Well, the idea is simply we're going to be unleashing this discovered attack with this, uh, well, discovered checkmate, I should say, with this knight. Uh, now, very quickly, I did have a look at some other solutions, and one of the things that I was really looking at quite uh, quite a lot was this rook captures here, and I thought that this would do exactly the same thing. The problem with this move is after knight captures this uh, this bishop, on d8, uh, there isn't actually a checkmate here. If we, let's say, move the knight here, notice because this bishop is no longer here, well, this king can just move to a5. So it has to be with the queen, and you'll just see why in just a minute. If now we play the queen here, if, let's say, the knight comes to uh, d8, we can now play rook over to a7, delivering the checkmate along this uh, rank. So um, yeah, very, uh, very, very interesting. Other solutions as well, obviously, if this knight came to here as well, we don't have to worry so much because again, we can deliver checkmate with this knight. Other things to also look at, the other checks that black can do to try and get out of this. If let's say he moves his queen here, we just capture obviously, and this is checkmate with the bishop. Um, and if, let's say, any other move doesn't work in this particular position, if, let's say, he moves the knight trying to block uh, this uh, this checkmate here, then you can take this knight this way. This is checkmate once again. So really nice solution to this uh, extremely difficult puzzle. Uh, oh, one last one I forgot to mention is if the bishop captures here as well, knight takes on f2. That's checkmate. If the bishop also captures over here, this is also a checkmate with the knight going up here. So as I say, a really difficult puzzle. Um, well done if you did manage to solve it and find this uh, queen to g4 line. Um, if you like this particular puzzle and you like some of the other puzzles um, on my channel, make sure to leave this one a like and make sure to check out any other future puzzles that I post on this channel. If you haven't already, make sure to also subscribe as well and click the notification bell for any future videos on my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.